So, after four or five years, the name Bricktop has finally gone viral. <laughs> One of my most surprising and funny moments as a YouTuber was during Tony Bellew's post-fight interview after the Olunga Makabu fight, when he referred to Frank Warren as Fish Eyes on live TV. Sky actually removed it later on, but luckily I downloaded it before they did because it was hilarious. But the reason that was a surprising moment for me was because I was the one who started that on YouTube, calling Frank Warren Fish Eyes. I started that at least seven years ago. And I don't think Tony Bellew even watches my videos, but you know how these things go. It's like a ripple effect. I start saying it, then my subscribers pick it up and they start spreading it on other channels. And before you know it, fighters are saying it on live TV. I had my Facebook group at that time and everyone was telling me, Bellew just called Frank Warren Fish Eyes, you know, like that. Another funny moment was when Dylan White started referring to Deontay Wilder as a hillbilly. Dylan was actually watching my videos at the time, to be fair, because he said as much. Although I don't think he likes me anymore because I'm not a sycophant, but that's okay. I've still got respect for him as a fighter. And then there was a similar situation recently when Carl Frotch was on TalkSport and he referred to Frank Warren as Bricktop. I started that on YouTube, must have been four or five years ago. Again, I don't think Carl Frotch watches my videos either, but like I said, it's a ripple effect and the boxing community is like an echo chamber. I'm sure there's lots of people who call Frank Warren Bricktop who have no idea that it's my channel that actually started it. And that's okay. They don't need to acknowledge me or anything like that. I'm not Roman Reigns. I'm just happy that everyone's using the name Bricktop now. I'm glad it's gone viral because people were taking Frank Warren far too seriously. And don't get me wrong, he's a serious guy, but he needed to be brought down a peg or two. The way he carries on, he's like a megalomaniac. I mean, you've seen him on TalkSport recently. Back in the days, people used to have a go at me in the comments for poking fun at Frank Warren, saying that he was a legend and what I was saying was disrespectful and that he was above criticism, basically. And that's exactly why <laughs> I started calling him Bricktop because he had everyone shook. A guy like that needs to be poked fun of and caricatured. Man behaves like some tin pot dictator, just like the character Bricktop in the film Snatch. The character in the film is an unlicensed boxing promoter, just like Frank Warren was. He throws his weight around and tries to bully people, just like Frank Warren with the media. And there are many other parallels with that character, which I won't go into here because he actually sued a newspaper many years ago for insinuating certain things about him and the company he keeps. Anyway, with the character bricked up in the film, in the end, it all backfires on him, as it will eventually backfire on Frank Warren. You can't be running around behaving like he does, especially in this day and age with social media where everything's out in the open, and not have it come back on you to some extent. Everyone can see what he is now, especially with this Fury situation. So salute to Carl Frotch for immortalizing the name Bricktop. In fact, I'll be disappointed if anyone calls him Frank Warren ever again from now on. <laughs> anyway, I'm out.